All right, we're going to watch Stephanie's Butterfly. We're going to watch it once at full speed. Um, and, and the, you know, when watching your videos, when taking the time to look at this, make sure you also look at the email notes that Lynette have sent as well. Um, we both watched the fly, and there and there's different things. But ultimately, the biggest thing we saw is, Stephanie, this is a fly we need to see all the time from you because it's a really strong fly. Got to work a little more on that second kick, a butterfly. You kind of are doing one kick. You start out in the very beginning, your first two or three strokes, you have two kicks fly. But then as you get into it, you kind of start doing that second kick. And I think a lot of it is more just strength and power. The stronger you get, the easier it's going to do to do it correctly all the time. So let's get into your stroke here, and let's slow it down just a little bit. All right, so we took that first breath, and the first thing we saw that we really like, eyes are down, your head's down before those hands enter the water. Great, Stephanie. We want to see that every single time. As you enter that water, your hands are a little bit deep, okay? Your head's down, almost maybe tucked too much to the chin, and that may be why your hands kind of came down. You started looking backwards. You want to be looking straight down. You don't want to look back at your knees. You want to make sure you're still looking down the bottom. If you look down the bottom more in this direction here, your hands are more likely to be able to stay up here, okay? Because right now, you've got your hands here, which go straight into your head, and then here are your hips, okay? So it's a really kind of a tiny little power triangle, not very strong. What we want to do is see our hands up here, right? So that we go down to our hands here, and then up to our hips there. And then we got a really strong power triangle on the top of that stroke. You want to see a power triangle on the top of your stroke of butterfly all the time. So work on keeping your hands a little higher in that water. Now as you start your pull, you can kind of see as your hands are underneath your shoulder, underneath your chest, your hands are really wide. You want to try to make sure those thumbs and that pointer finger almost are touching every single time you get that stroke. So from your shoulders all the way down to your belly button, those hands should almost be together. And then as you finish your stroke, right here you've still got palms up, right? And that's good. If you could finish right there, it'd be perfect. You start to turn those pinkies up and those thumbs down. They're right at the very end. Got to make sure you keep those palms up as you get your hands all the way around. Okay, good job of entering. I try and keep those hips, try and keep those legs a little bit higher in that water. And we can start to see here, one kick, one kick, and one kick. And that one kick, even still, you could, we'd like to see those feet a little bit closer together, those knees a little bit closer together, so you're getting a little bit more strength. You don't want your legs quite so wide apart. All right, let's get into our turn here. If we hit that wall, we take that last stroke with a breath, and you can kind of see how your knees a little bit too bent, and then you're really high in that water. Okay, try and stay a little bit closer to the top of that water without a breath, because once you hit that wall, guess what you're going to do? Breathe. You're going to breathe right away. So don't breathe that last stroke into the wall. Don't breathe the first stroke off the wall. As you start to go in your turn, you can see that your toes are, or your feet are stacked one on top of the other. That's really good. Like how quick that transition is. We would like to see, though, you can kind of see here, you're looking to the side and your hand's still above the water. So you never really watch your hand come off the wall. Make sure you watch that hand come off the wall a lot stronger so it slides right behind your ear. The old elbow your brother, call your mother thing. You want to make sure that hand slides right to your ear, not out to the side. You kind of see as your hand goes, it's kind of going over your head, not really sliding behind. The other thing that we notice is your knees are pointed out here. Put your knees a little bit more in an angle facing up. So we don't want to sweep those legs out to the side. Make sure you bring them in straight underneath your body. As you start to come off the wall, you can see right here, your elbows are bent, and this arm's a little straight. And then you can also see that your head is above your, uh, is above your streamline. You want to make sure that head stays underneath your arms. Your arms are locked in a nice tight streamline. Because right here, you start to put your head in a streamlined position. But that's too late. You've already had too much resistance, too much drag right in the very beginning. So hold that streamline a little bit better, okay? You did two good dolphin kicks, right? Double check, let's double back that. One, two, but we're supposed to do six. And we're also not supposed to breathe first stroke off the wall, and here's that first breath, okay? So make sure you do six dolphin kicks. Get out that streamline a little bit better, okay? We would like to see you coming out to where the flags are. Uh, the flags are right here where this black buoy is. Look at how far back you are when you're taking that first stroke, okay? That's still almost a good three yards, and you should be able to get a little bit further off those walls. If you hold your streamline just slightly, 
and then get three dolphin kicks, four dolphin kicks, five dolphin kicks, up to six dolphin kicks, you're going to be coming out past that black buoy easily. But we've got to make sure we work on that. Okay. Again, though, great job again that head down. I mean, Stephanie, your fly underwater looks really good. There's just a couple little things that you work on, and your fly is going to take off. Keep working hard in practice because I know we're going to see some great improvements from you once we start getting that practice workout up. Uh, we've been really impressed with what we've seen from you lately, so keep it up.